As part of Geoteric's cognitive interpretation workflow, isoproportional slicing can be a powerful way to analyze seismic data in a way that is conformant or proportional to the geology allowing for rapid analysis of stratigraphic packages in a horizon-consistent manner. It also allows for the visualization of attributes in one stratigraphic layer when there is highly variable structure, for example, this fault going down the center of this section. Anomalies in these packages can be quickly identified and cross-checked with the seismic, either manually or by pressing the play button. In the example I visualized here, we have the maximum positive amplitude between these two intervals, clearly delineating this crevasse splay event, as well as these thinner channel events to the west. What makes isoproportional slicing unique and geoteric is the fact that it can be done on a color blend such as this high definition frequency decomposition blend. This is because Geoteric's color blends are quantitative, as opposed to just opacity blends. Alternatively, isoproportional slicing can also be done on a standard volume, such as this data-conditioned seismic reflectivity volume. I can specify which attributes to generate, as well as the number of slices, and the method of slicing this data can then be exported either as slice boundary horizons on their own or center slice horizons with map data attached. In the example that I visualized in Geotex 3D window here, we have a center slice horizon with the RMS energy from a data conditioned seismic volume. This also clearly delineates this crevasse splay event, in addition to smaller channel features to the northwest.